Tagga, we went to Jamaica for Christmas with his girlfriend. On the way back, he was arrested by the police and he was sent to prison for six months. I didn't have any money. They phoned me from Jamaica. They want money for to put down his prison time. Thousand pound to it's just six months to go in prison to be to it uh, three. I didn't have no penny at all. I couldn't help him. I was thinking. I cry. I remember that night I cry. Then I thought about I have to start making some money. My son he needs money there. So I say uh, I'm gonna start selling wheat because already they used to come in our house smoking. So I started myself. I was making money as was sending to and I was doing good business and I was making money which I was very comfortable and support my son, sending him three, four, five hundred pounds a week. Got the ballocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got the ballocks. Of course yeah? I got the ballocks. Let's see the ballocks. And you have the ballocks? Got the ballocks. The best you can get. Yeah? This was, this was, it was okay. But the biggest trouble it was when the people come to rob me. All right, boys? Yeah. Five times I had approached Come. the guns in my body. Give me the weed box, you kind of a joke. I had a very hard time. Pops, where are you going, Pops, man? Right. Come here, Pops. I've been working very hard. You don't want to pop one in your face, Pops. I ain't fucking around. I was very good at, in knives. I was Stop, stop talking and get me the fucking food. The commando when I was 18 and I've been trained on knives. And I was trained, I was very fast. One I have to do something, man. What what got a knife? One of the what, got a knife? holding the gun, he will lose his half of a hand. Ah, ah. I was so good in knives because I cut his hand half. I didn't want the whole hand in my in my in my kitchen. I wanted to run to go because of the police, of course. I don't want the police in my. I have weed in my house. Well, he hold his hand and run away. He got the hand. He went to the hospital, whatever. Four of them it was, supplying weed to hundreds of people. Well, I start because of my son went to Jamaica and I was arrested, he went to prison, so I need money to support him. I've been to prison myself and I know how things are. So a young boy been to Jamaican prison, I was worried. You know. I know Jamaican prison is a tough place. I have friends still in making business with them in the weed, and I know what kind of prison is Spanish town. They told me. I've been informed of everything. What they tell you? That's, that's what the reason. That is a it's very tough prison, Spanish town prison. That's why I was worried. Not because he was white. It doesn't make no difference. When you are in prison, you doesn't look no white, no black.
I couldn't believe what the judge said to me. And the judge looked at me and said, you get a year. A year? A year? In a prison in Jamaica? A year? I said, no, John. I felt to cry and die same time. They make you strip nearly naked to see if you've got any scars on your body. And you basically get received as a body. And when you make it out of the prison alive, you come out as a body, you know? But when you come out as a live body, it's a different story. That prison is designed for them to kill them one another. There's no toilets in the cell. There's no water in your cell. I never eat the prison food yet. I've never seen nothing like it in my life. You don't get no plates, you don't get no forks. If someone ain't send you in a container and a plastic fork, you ain't got nothing to eat out. Well, I see people come back um, from the tray with food and it, man. Uh, on the floor is like a, um, it's like a sewage going across on the right hand side, like a little sewage tunnel. Stinks like shit. And then on the wall is just cockroaches. It's covered. I must have made around 25, 30 people when I got in a lock up in a small little area where you got about 20 people lying on the floor on newspaper. So we, we were just going to the man and just give me a bit of newspaper and I just went in one corner and sat down, vex. Nah, man, me tell him still. As a rat, I smoke herb and we get caught with some herb. Yeah. And them give me a sentence. Yeah. Um, I get that sound say, dog ain't not trouble, you know, and we see an article with his name, even though I never know his name, but I know his address. I just look out for him still, because I know he's going to land on a certain date, so. <laughs> he phoned me and he said, that, that man is here. I was glad. Not because, of course, Talman he was in prison. He went to prison, but he was in prison anyway. So he's next to my son. They know each other. That's why he was glad. I talked to Talman in the telephone as well. Yeah. Talman is a good man. He's a good, I know him long. He's straight, man. I like him. Yeah, because you have two sections at the prison. Yeah, salt block and NCB. Certain parts rougher than the other, you know? Well rough, so. I try to keep him away from that section, yeah. I saw, I saw four people dead in there. Mm. I see a Colombian brother in there, he was locked up for coke. He only had six months. He went mad in his cell, he went mad just like there, trying to kill himself in his cell with other people who were mad. Because you can go mad in a place that you're not strong. You get what I'm saying? Really, 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 really. That place that was driving me crazy, you have to be really strong. Toga. <coughs> Toga was nervous. Frightened. You know. Strange place locked up. You see the stress on him still, but he conquered that. Had to. Pretending I think was it. Whatever he was talking to me, that he was okay, this and that. But me, by the way he talked to me, I knew he wasn't okay. No, and I was happy, and of course, after when he was talking to me with confidence, I know he was okay. So that's why I was run to send him money to Hawaii. If you're going to prison for herb, I'm gonna treat you in a bad way for herb. If you're going to, for rape in a, a one and uh, something like that, it's a different thing. Then I check for that. You get rated by what your charge is. If you're charged for rape, then you get treated like a pussy, basically. If you get charged for coke, you get treated like an idiot as well. If you get charged for teething, you get treated like an idiot. If you get charged for murder, then they consider you a bad man. If you get charged for gunshot, you get considered a bad man. If you get charged for weed, you get considered a freedom fighter. Well, revolutionary in the sense he's providing a service where not any and any man would do, you know what I say? Even though every and every man wants for small herb, not every and every man wants for travel with it. But some man brave enough for travel with it. I just say it, go. I think Dugger got through by being, being himself. When him find out, say, him can't really chat. You know? Time him, him was doing the own thing. I walk around and I chat lyrics. <laughs> and man just get around and listen to him chat. So he was like a 
little celebrity in there, you know? So when you meet people that do it on a professional scale and they react to what he was doing, I think that's what built him up still. Destiny is destiny, man. You can't stop destiny. No one can't stop destiny, you know? And sometimes what you think is the worst of worst is always a blessing behind it, you know? But life not simple as man try to make it. Man try to complicate everything, but life is a simple thing, you know? Uh, most people imagine it when you're behind bars, everything over and done for you, you know? But from you know, kill a man, I have blood on your hand, you know? Not really. Little herb. You know? And a crime. Crime, what? When Toga leave prison, it's a full transformation. Different person. He's like, he find himself. I want him to come back, but his uh, life is music, so I understand that. So I tell him, okay. If he didn't buy the ticket, he be deported. No, he be de I was meant to be deported. If he didn't buy the ticket, I would have been still in prison. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. I didn't pay that. Yeah. He did. You paid the five hundred pounds. You pay. You bought the ticket. From where I the went? Embassy. The where? embassy. Yeah, Remember yeah. the English lady, the embassy. Talking yeah, well, yeah, they. And I didn't. Okay. Go, I didn't even get on the flight. I didn't get on the flight. I stayed in Jamaica. <laughs> yeah. But without buying that ticket, you get sent to the Roman Center until someone buys you a ticket. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's, ah, this let's, is a let's, good story, yeah, yeah I remember that's now. That's a good part okay. to say. The moment I saw that little white English boy, I know, he was a star. <laughs> For real. I'm a white man now. That's what I'm so proud of you. I'm a white man. I'm most of the places in And I'm a white boy DJ. And him, give me one tune. I you to owe him, give me the first tune. It's like, I said, no, sir. I the bad little white boy that's me here in a long time. No, sir. I said, no, give me one more tune. I think what's a boom and jump in and next tune again. I said, damn, no. You know, so I look at white boy and So it's like, I see it in him right away. You know, I said, you know, so him. I want to start him. Right, this up. When I met him, it's like, he might tell me in personal life, like, he might tell me, say, yo, boy, Jigga. You know, the GM does come from, and, you know, all of that stuff. And I said, damn. You know, so I'm really looking straight, dude. So I start feeling real. You know, I say, so I say, all right, you up. And they don't know me as a youth, eh? Like, I say, from me see the star, I will give my hand. So I just know me just say, all right. I give my hand, you know what I say? Give my help, because at that time, too, like, I think, like, like, emotionally, you know what I say, he probably didn't need a friend them time, you know what I say? Like, because he's just coming off a whole bunch of problems and coming out of jail and, you know, and you never really know a lot of people in Jamaica. And you know what I'm saying? And I, I saw all of that like in a minute and I said, you know what? This dude probably need a friend, you know what I'm saying? The whole all them period of times. You know, my name's on bridging and thing and you know, done start showing the rope still. Came in the studio the man and start recording and thing and the key thing was each time I put him up on the stage to represent, he represent. And I have a lot of shows so. At that time, he was going to a whole heap of corner with a gun, and then I bust the place. So every time we go around, we just give him the mic and just bust the place. Every community. So, in like, a, like in a short, like in a quick month and a half, like in a quick six, eight weeks, like him at the whole Kingston time. Like, Yo, the white boy, we are part Nexus. You don't see the little white boy, we are part Nexus. You know what I'm saying? In a quick time. In a short time, we did like a whole yeah, oh, oh, heap of places. And I, I think we ended up with Sting, we ended up with um, um, Champions in Action, we ended up with. Talk a one, show them. Hey, yo, Tivoli God is in our Tagawa, chicken. Hold on, the Tagawa. Hold on, hold on. May I show you the wicked? And England, him come from. And him have a tune to represent for Jamaica. Tagawa, give them that tune there. Yeah, he done now. 